All right, I'm in Microsoft Word, and I need to set up uh, my sheet of paper for the newspaper project. So the first thing I'm going to do is here I am at this home tab, but I'm going to change the margins to 0.75, and I'm also going to change the orientation to landscape. And to do that, I need to go to page layout. Um, here's orientation right here. I'm going to change that to landscape. Um, and you can see that it's changed it to its side. Um, let me change the view here a little bit so you can see that a little bit better. There we go, one page. And then I'm going to go back to page layout. I'm going to change the margins. And what I want is it for it to be uh, 0.75 or 3 quarters of an inch top, bottom, left, and right. Um, I've got one here because I've already done it. But what you'll want to do is go in here and you'll just have to type it in 0.75. All right, 0.75. Five and 0.75. There we go. Okay. Now, the easiest way to deal with this is to actually type in your information and get everything in there first. And so, what I'm going to do, um, I've copied and pasted something just to save time uh, for that sake. Um, wow, why that didn't change anything? Let me get rid of anything extra. Um, but let me go back and change the orientation, I guess, back to landscape. Um, so there's my page. So I know I've got everything in here. I, I know I've got a full page like I need. Um, in the end, I may end up actually having too much. Uh, let me make sure I'm typing. Uh, I've got font size. I need font size 12. Um, let me make sure also that I've got... Uh, single spacing going here, one here, here's single spacing, there we go, okay. Um, so now I've got everything I need. So what I'm going to do then is uh, I want my title to be able to go all the way across just like it's doing right now, but then I need to put the rest of it into columns. So what I think is the easiest thing to do okay, um, is to set this up basically select all your information and then I can go to the insert and I think this is where it is let me find it um, maybe it's not in here page layout columns it's under page layout columns and then I have to decide how many I want okay um, so let me make sure I've got everything selected okay and then I'm gonna go to columns I can go into more columns or I can select three here um, there we go maybe I want four I can go down select here I can type in click number of columns I want four okay um, it's for the selected text so not my whole page right and there I go um, once again I can select everything and you can notice it starts pushing stuff around okay but I can select everything here and what I like to do instead of aligning it just on the left hand side so it's straight here but notice it's all jagged here is to use the justify align and that makes it look more like uh, a newspaper situation. Um, I still probably have a little more than I need um, to spice it up, make it look a little better. I like to use what we call a drop cap and I can use the insert tab here uh, and go to drop cap and I can say dropped and notice what it does is it takes that first letter makes it a little bit bigger right and, and that makes it look nice. Um, I also like to get some borders going here. Um, here's my border situation um, and I'm not sure how this is going to work out but uh, let's see if we do give me a top border and put it up there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a bottom border here as well. Um, no, I think it's going to put it down at the bottom somewhere. Maybe not. Let's see what happens here. Oh, there we go and I can get that in here. Makes it look a little bit more like like that kind of a thing. The other thing that I might want to do is get an image in there, right? And so um, I've got to get a picture in here somewhere. So let me go and open up uh, Google and go find an image around this. Uh, so here we go. Let's find uh, maybe the cotton gin, let's say. Um, <clears throat> I need an image on that. I can go to images. Let me find one. Hey, here's one that I like. Let's say I'm going to copy this image. Uh, let me go back in here. I can put it anywhere that I want and I'll show you how to move it around. Um, and Maybe that got it in there. Maybe it didn't. I don't really know. Pay 
Notice the image doesn't seem to be doing it. Okay, so let me go back here. Uh, let me grab this. Maybe sometimes it works a little better. If I open it up, then I can copy the image. And let me go stick that thing in here. That seems to be working. You can see the hourglass doing something there. There it is. Okay, now what I've done is I've got just kind of stuck in there. Maybe it's a little bigger than I want. Who knows, right? But what I can do now is under Picture Tools, I can go here to Format. Sometimes it's nice to have a little uh, border around it. There's all different kinds of borders here. You don't want anything real big. That might even be too much. Probably better to go with something like this, right? Um, so I've got that. And then what I want to do is under Text Wrapping is I want to make it tight. Okay, and so what happens is I can pretty much put this thing anywhere that I want and it'll wrap the text all the way around this. Okay, so that way I can move it, put it wherever I want, um, and get my newspaper to look the way I want it to look. Um, you know, kind of design it a little bit better that way, right? Um, you know, I can go in here and I can play around with, you know, different styles here that I might want. Okay, maybe I want something like that, bold it, I can maybe make it a little bit bigger. Um, you know, that's up to you to figure out. Um, the other thing is newspapers tend to have some kind of a heading um, up here, you know, something like that. So I could go, um, you know, maybe I can get my industrial, oops, revolution times. Um, I can tab over get like a page number in here, right? Um, you know, it gives me some different options. What do I want here? You know, something like that. Um, get that in there, just to add to it, okay? Something like that. Maybe I put that down at the bottom, maybe that's a better place for that thing to go. Stick it down here, right? Um, we get that out of there. But notice it's pushed my text around. I probably have too much text at this point. Um, I'm going to have to go clear that up, maybe shorten this a little bit and get that kind of fixed up so I don't have so much stuff. But that's how I'll get my titles in there. That's how I get my, um, you know, my text in a little bit separately. Maybe I've got too much space in between these columns. I can always adjust that. So if I go back into insert or page layout, my columns. Um, you go in here, it says four columns. Maybe I don't want the spacing to be so big in between. Um, that'll shrink it up. That looks better. There was too much spacing, I think, before. Um, that also shrinks things up a little bit, makes it a little bit better that way. Okay, so some different things that I can play around with. Um, up here, maybe that what I want is. This is my opinion article, right? <clears throat> okay, and so maybe this is how I get that section in there. Make that a lot bigger, okay? Um, however, I want to deal with that opinion. Shrink that up a little bit, kind of get that going. Okay, move that up around. There's some different things I can do. Okay, and so you can kind of see, here's my article for that, right?